I used to work as a student nurse at a hospital. I had this patient who had to stay overnight because he had a severe asthma attack. He had to wear an oxygen mask over his mouth and nose. My job was to give him a sponge bath, so I did. While I was giving him a sponge bath, he mumbled something from behind his mask. He said, nurse, are my testicles black? I was a little bit embarrassed because I didn't know how to- Bro, y'all know them dudes be in the bed trying to finesse those nurses, bro. Everybody getting a sponge bath. Those old heads trying to get one off. Enjoy your weird bath. Answer that question. And I was only there to wash his upper body and feet. So I just ignored the question and I continued to wash him. Like 10 minutes later, he struggled to ask me again. He said, nurse, please check for me. Are my testicles black? I was concerned that he might elevate his blood pressure and his heart rate by worrying about his testicles. So I just gently raised his gown. I was holding his manhood in one hand and his testicles in my other hand. <laughs> I looked very close at his private area. And then I said, there is nothing wrong with them, sir. They look fine. He then slowly starts to pull off his oxygen mask. He said, thank you so much. That was wonderful. But listen, very, very close. He looked up at me. And then he started talking very slowly. He said, are my test results back? It's called congratulations. You played yourself. Let's go. <laughs> Uncle got a free cop of Phil. Let's go. <laughs> bro, those masks is dangerous, bro. Those masks are dangerous. But look, no lie, dog. Let's just get back to the real story. You know, nurses be in there. And dudes really be trying to spit the utmost ridiculous game during those sponge baths you know those old days don't care man they low-key get get a piece of viagra and and, and get that sponge bath next to water <laughs> y'all hear the wild stories bro y'all got a funny story leaving in the comments <laughs> how you can possibly tell me you can go to the prayer class you did a good job good job baby yeah. oh me I asked for the prayer class question. You come out with your Gucci out of the way. I'm supposed to be listening. Amen. Let us pray the pimp's prayer. Lord. Amen, bro. Y'all doing it in the sanctity of marriage, all right? Underneath the God. <laughs> Let it go, girl. After you get the uh, praying, I'm going to get the slaying, all right? All right, you need to go ahead and fit, wrap up this phone call, man. Your husband trying to get something going on. He's trying to bless you tonight, all right? Amen. I think I'll leave it now. So I seen this on uh, Facebook, and uh, this lady posted a list that her husband left on the refrigerator, uh, which is basically her daily routine to become a better wife. And I saw the women in a, in a tizzy about it, and I said, well... If her husband going to work every day, paying all them bills, I don't know what the fuck they doing outside of getting them tasks knocked off that list with a mother file. I'm just saying, cause what? A, I mean, exactly. y'all said stay, being a stay at home mom is a job, right? So I don't see nothing about no kids on there. But regardless, I mean, I said, hey. So obviously she ain't doing her job right. So get that task list. Your buddy had to make a list for you. Be a better wife. You don't want to work. You just want to make noise. <laughs> get that task. Let's go ahead and just break down this task list real quick, man. We got Lisa's daily routine for becoming a better wife. Her husband set this up. Obviously, Lisa ain't doing what she's supposed to be doing. And let's just go ahead and break this down. It says, wake up at 5 a.m. and prepare breakfast. For your husband, eggs, bacon, toast, freshly brewed coffee. You got to make sure the, the coffee is fresh. Make sure everything is ready by 530. He even got that bad boy in bold letters. <laughs> Only made a Word document. <laughs> Let me go ahead and use the Word document template. All right. So the next one is Jim from 6 a.m. to 7. Keep in shape. No excuses. Baby, look. If you got all this free time, one hour at the gym, it's only 4% of your day. One hour out the day in the gym is only 4% of your day, of your 24-hour day. You can't tell me you can't get in there and stay in shape. Let me go ahead and get that uh, one hour out you. Clean the entire house from 7.30 to 8.30, including what? Vacuuming. 
dusting the necessary stuff you know make sure it's done by 10 a.m the man just the man is putting time limits on everything at this point right prepare lunch for your husband by 12 p.m even if he's at work <laughs> you, you better cook like i'm at home i'm not even at home i'm at work you better cook like i'm at home and then have it ready for tomorrow if necessary dinner must be served at 6 30. All right, a fresh home cooked meal every day. No takeout allowed. Look, if you got, if you at home, you you can put together a recipe, dog. You don't have to go. What, what, what is McDonald's for if you at home the whole damn day, right? Be be available for <laughs> snacks and drinks whenever your husband or his friends are around, especially after 8 p.m. Snacks must be wow. My boy said you gotta have the snacks ready. You gotta, if my bro, if the bros is over, you gotta have the snacks ready, all right? Especially after 8 p.m. That mean you on service call for snacks and drinks. If I send you a text message, babe, yeah, babe, I need a beer for the game. He wants all that. Next, ensure the house is quiet after 9 p.m. for your husband's relaxation. No distractions during TV time. He didn't say anybody else's time or your time. He just want his own peace time. That doesn't include you. So he just wants a, a, a little break from you as well. And uh, be in bed by 10. Y'all, Is this is doable. Women are in the comments tearing it up, talking about they'll, they'll do all these things if they're at home, but they don't have to do it by the timeline. Now, nah, look, Lisa been messing up. If Lisa wasn't messing up, we wouldn't have to worry about all this. Hey. All the women in the comments, he, he'll still be sitting there with them divorce papers up there. Yeah, and then, yeah, whatever. Y'all yeah, was just on my page arguing about being dependents, the military spouses. Well, hell, if that man going to work every day to make sure that money coming in to pay them bills, you could do what's on this list with a smile. Go. With a smile. Y'all done heard your boy say with a smile. If a man favors getting his blank sucked, red flag. Flag what? on the play. What? Because guess what? That's not exclusive to women. Everybody has a mouth. Oh, you better be joking. Oh, stop right there. You see what I'm getting at? And doing that also is giving a man a sense of dominance, especially if he is actually the one that is receiving it. Men like dominance, no matter in what realm they're in. It's just easier for them to assert the dominance on women because number one, we've been taught to be submissive through patriarchy, through religion, through gender conditioning, but also men, they've been taught through the patriarchy to assert dominance all the time. So it's kind of like two dogs. You know how two male dogs, even if they're male dogs, one will, st one will still mount the other one. Yeah, they're mounting one another because that dog wants to assert dominance over the other dog. That's the same concept there. Negative. I have a few more reasons to back up my theory, but I don't want this video to be too long. It's already getting kind of long. So going ahead and like and follow for a part two. Uh, 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 you're, you're, you're funny. Now he's funny. Oh, negative. How can you uh, determine a man's sexuality because he likes getting the fellatio? No, dude. No, no. That's just not how it goes. Ma'am, just because you don't like giving or you're bad at it and that was your reason so you don't have to do it or you don't want to do it, your jaws hurts, blah, blah, blah. Man, there's a lot of men out there that would lo that love it. They expect it, all right? They probably wouldn't even marry a woman that wouldn't even serve them up the right way. I'm just letting you know, man. The, uh, the game is just changing. That's just something that you want to do to please your partner. That doesn't have really anything to do with some dominance. So stop it. That, that's, that's that of animalistic behavior and nature and sexual behavior. Ma'am, just because you're not serving up men doesn't mean you don't have to influence other women to not do it. Look, judging from your uh, your wig, uh, yeah, you're probably not doing it. Your big, broad shoulders, look, you're probably not even in shape to even do it. Let's just put it, let's put it like that. Ain't no way I'm gonna sit here and let you tell this type of stuff. Hell no. Kill. Yeah. What's your name? Kill. You gonna let me do whatever I wanna do. You only stay. Say whatever. Whatever I wanna do. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, see right here. Yeah. See right here. See right here. 
Okay, now you gotta lean all the way back. Lean all the way back. Look good, look at You gotta look at my face. You gotta look at my eyes. All right, stick your tongue out. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Stick your tongue out. Stick your tongue out. You open your throat up. Yeah. Good girl. She thought I was about to spit it on her mouth. <laughs> Boy, Kevin Gates out here, dog. I never been to a Kevin Gates concert, man, but I'm pretty sure it's filled with women, dog. Uh, it's probably filled with drunk and high women. I'm just saying, it's probably a good time, a good vibe out there. I'm just saying, if you're trying to go and meet up with some women, you might have a good shot at the Kevin Gates concert. Let's just keep it real. Kevin Gates over here pulling studs, making them do unstudly like behaviors on stage in front of everybody at the show, bro. I. I give up. This dude, Kevin Gates, is a, is a menace out here, dog. Like, for real. Okay, y'all. I'm finna go to lunch with my kid's stepmama. You know, I, I ain't trying to... You feel me? I ain't trying to, like... Oh, you trying to do something. You trying to show up. Shit, I just, you know, I just let you know, bitch. I'm cute, man. You feel me? But we finna go to lunch and talk like ladies. I'm so excited. I need it, man. What's up? Y'all must be having a good time. Okay, y'all, mm. be transparent. <clears throat> I like Ashley. I really do. Uh, <laughs> all right, I like her down. because I asked her, I said, do you love Jordan? She said, yes. I said, do you love my kids? She said, yes. I said, okay. I said, okay, I'm gonna give you full custody. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna step back. Dog, what is the male equivalent of this? You see how ladies can go out, have a uh, go out and party, take shots, right, and just really just let their guard on. What is the male equivalent to that? Dude, what, what, what? I have never had to, to do that, man. I'm sure some of y'all guys probably had to go there and meet like your your child's new stepdaddy or whatever, mom's your baby mama's new boyfriend. What is what is the what is that like? Is it a staring contest, man? It's a natural pissing contest type of thing, right? Do you stand there and just kind of gauge one another? Like, you know, you try to check the vibe. You try to like flex a little bit, you know? What is that like? Can you honestly say you can invite dude out and, and, and barbecue together, go grab a beer together, watch the game together, play the video games together? What is the male equivalent to that? Here's bro, this is some real shit. Um, before we got in front of the table, I told her, I'm looking at her dinner eyes. I said, listen, I like you and I feel like you're a genuine person and I'm happy it's you. I'm not gonna act like it don't hurt. <clears throat> it hurt to know that my kids got a stepmama now, <laughs> but I'm happy, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can still feel a way. I'm told y'all, <laughs> because we was married, y'all. This shit don't go away, it don't just go away overnight. I'm not gonna act like it don't hurt um, to know that you're you, you playing mommy to my kids when I'm not there, but I'm happy as you and I, and I, and I hope it's genuine. I hope you really do love my kids because I like you. And I'm giving you I'm giving you my blessing. So yeah, y'all, I am a little toe up, but it ain't like on some heartbroken shit where I'm toe up right here moving on. That's not the case. I'm just toe up that I did not know that my kids was, you know what I'm saying, being nurtured by somebody else. That that's them them feelings are valid. What? Nah, this is something else. You're gonna go ahead and get full custody to the other other woman i don't know about all that i mean at the end of the day i mean i didn't know it was just that type of situation you know we can do all that and be fine with it. you don't have to just give up full custody of the kids so i mean but i don't know this situation but at the end of the day it's actually you know in the kids best interest I, I feel like she didn't she didn't grow up she put some mature face on man and really just did what's best for the kids which is awesome Right, she put her feelings, her pride to the side, and it's very unlike a lot of times having women put their pride to the side. All right, or well, I guess that's you can say that's more of a man thing, putting their pride to the side. But like letting somebody else come in and share that role, be the be the mom, because mommies take mommy duty very serious. Like let's just be let's just be real, right? The nurturing aspect that's just that's 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 their job from not, from from day one most of the time. But she, uh, she's willing to let homegirls come in, and she's willing to take it, those kids in as her own. So mad, mad respect to them. 